So with regard to efficacy, what we've shown is that with progression-free survival, approximately one-fifth of the patients are progression-free at five years, and approximately one-third of the patients are alive at five years as well. So there are a cohort of patients who do well long-term. The, the issue really is what can we do to identify those patients at baseline, who is going to do well and who isn't. And so what we've done is uh, corroborated some earlier data um, based on, upon a multivariate analysis and a regression tree analysis looking at baseline characteristics to identify who is likely to do well. So we have some markers that are associated with durability of response. Uh, whether somebody has got a normal LDH, uh, they've got fewer than three organ sites involved, what the performance status is, those things are associated with doing well long term. The greatest marker, the most powerful marker of durability of response is whether somebody's had a complete response to treatment. So that's not a baseline marker, it's a marker that's generated whilst the patient's on treatment. And 19% of patients had a complete response to treatment. And when you look at the five-year outcome for the patients who had a complete response, 49% were progression-free at five years, and over 70% we're alive at five years. So it really is a marker for patients who are likely to do well long term.